Okay, so if you're watching this video, then obviously you must have some problem with streaming GTA 3 or Vice City. And I think this problem also applies to a few other games, but if you use OBS to stream games like Vice City, for example, and you want to use Game Capture, and it's not really going to do anything, <laughs> nothing's going to show up. And of course you could use window capture, but I mean, it'll be really terrible quality. And if you know what DX3 is, then you could also use that. But if you don't feel like paying $36, then... Yeah, this is a solution to this problem. Basically, you can download a file. And this file will... Um, It'll be able to... It, okay, so the DX3 game capture only works with DirectX 9 and Hub. And Vice City and GTA 3 work on DirectX 8, so it's not going to work with OBS. So, you this file that you download, um, it will convert the DirectX 8 to DirectX 9 rendering, and it'll work with OBS. So you'd go to this site here, and I would link it in the description. So, you know, you don't have to copy it um, letter by letter or whatever. And you'd click the arrow, you would download this zip file. And there would be these files, but you only need these two, basically. And so you'd open up your Vice City directory, whatever that might be. And in my case, it would be Program Files, Rockstar Games, Vice City, and this is the directory with GTA VC AXE. And if you don't know where it is or using Steam or something, because I don't know what that would be, then you just search up like GTA VC and it should show it up where the folder is. Okay, and you would copy these two files into the directory. And it would work, but there's one problem. If you like to use 3D Analyze for having the game in windowed mode so you can have something else running over it or something, if you launch it, then it will delete these files, or it will delete D3, D8, which makes it kind of useless. So if you want to use Game Capture in this method, then you have to not use this thing, if you do use it. Um, or you can just get the extra, you know, cough up the $36. So let's test this with the DirectX converter. So it's open and go back to OBS. You don't see anything right now, but I think I have to go back to the game and. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So the game will now be able to be captured with the game capture. And hold on just a minute. Just to prove that it's not just an image or anything. In case it's necessary. Okay. There we go. So you can see I'm moving the mouse and all that. I'll just load it file or something. Wait, actually you might not be able to see that. Yeah. I have OBS on my other monitor. Okay, whatever. But point is it will capture the game, even if you didn't see that. But whatever. So that's basically how you can um, use the game capture in OBS to capture Voice City without using DX3 or anything. Thank you for watching.